Hi guys, welcome to Cloud Tech. In this video, I'm going to solve a problem which was asked in Cognition interview. The candidate had 2.3 years of experience working as a Java developer and when he solved this problem, he was selected and uh, he was offered a CTC of 8 LPA, that is 8 lakhs per annum. Okay, now let me explain the problem statement. Uh, he was asked to write a Java program to separate out positive and negative numbers from the given array. And after that, he had to print the count of total positive numbers along with negative numbers. So he had to first thing, he had to separate out positive and negative numbers from the given array. And then he had to print the count of total positive numbers as well as negative numbers. And apart from that, he was asked to print uh, both the arrays, positive array as well as negative array from the given array. Okay, so you can consider this as an input. Uh, this is the array which contains mixed numbers like uh, positive numbers and few negative numbers. And in the output, he had to display the total number of positive numbers. Then he had to print uh, the positive numbers array. Then he had to print uh, total negative numbers and then uh, print negative numbers from the given array. Okay, now to implement this, uh, let me start writing the code. Okay, so if you see, I have written a class separate positive and negative numbers and then I have written a main method. Okay, inside this main method, I'm going to now declare a variable which will be used to uh, have positive numbers, positive uh, negative numbers and an array. So first let me declare an array which will hold my all the numbers uh, which are mixed numbers like positive numbers and negative numbers. So integer array is equal to new or I can declare directly array elements. Okay, this array is going to hold all the numbers which are mentioned here. So I will simply copy these numbers and paste it here. Okay, now I have this array uh, which will be my uh, mixed array. Now I will declare one more variable which will hold my positive numbers array. Okay, so positive numbers array. This array is going to hold all the elements which are positive from this array new integer array so for now i will make it as a 10 okay again i will declare one more variable which will hold all the negative numbers so i will write it as negative numbers array is equal to new integer of 10. i have declared three arrays first array is going to hold all the numbers second array is going to hold all the positive numbers then third array is going to hold all the negative numbers I will declare two variables which will be used to count positive numbers as well as negative numbers. So first variable will hold positive numbers, positive numbers count and second variable will hold negative numbers count. Okay, I'm done with declaration. I will simply uh, initialize these variables to the value zero. Okay, after this, what I will do, I will try to iterate over the array and see if the array element is positive or negative. Okay, if it is positive array element, I will try to add that element into positive array. If it is negative array element, I will try to add that into negative array. So let me start iterating over this array. Okay, so for integer i is equal to zero, I should be less than array dot length and i plus plus okay now while iterating what i will do i will check the array elements if array elements array of i is less than zero if it is less than zero that means the element is negative element or negative number so if it is less than zero then i need to add it into negative numbers arrow okay so negative numbers array of what i will do i will add it as a negative negative numbers count and what i will do i will put that array element into this okay now i'm done with putting the array element into negative array numbers if it is less than zero what i will do i will simply increment the negative arrays count because i need to count the total number of negative arrays negative array elements as well if the array element is greater than or equal to zero that means we have a positive element so i will write that code into else part what i will do here i will add if the array element is positive 
or if it is a positive number then i will add that element into positive array so what i will do positive numbers array and i will add that array element into positive array okay and similarly here also i need to count positive numbers total count of positive numbers so i will increment this positive number count now i'm done with checking if the array element is positive or negative if it is negative i will add that number into negative array if it is positive then i will add that element into positive numbers array and i will increment count for both the time okay i'm done with this now what i will do i will simply print total number of positive elements so here i will write total positive numbers and here i will print the positive count positive numbers count similarly i will write total negative numbers and here i will print the negative numbers count negative numbers count instead of here positive it should be negative okay and if i run this program uh, i will be able to see total negative and total positive numbers so total positive numbers are seven total negative numbers are seven and now what i will do i will write a simple function which will be used to print the arrays because instead of writing two times for loop and printing the numbers uh, is not a good idea or a good solution so what i will do i will try to write a function which will be used to print just the array elements okay so what i will do public static void print array elements okay and this array elements will accept my array and okay so integer array and next element which i am going to pass it is a size of that positive array or negative array so it will make it as a integer size and here i will write a for loop for integer i is equal to 0 i should be less than size and i plus plus and here i will print the array elements so this out and i will print the i i and i will use space instead of printing elements on next thing and then uh, what i will do i will print the array elements so here i will write a uh, positive sorry control chain system dot out dot print ln and then positive array elements so it's out positive array elements and here i will call that function print array elements which i will accept positive numbers and sign will be positive numbers count similarly i will print negative array elements and this i will call print array element function which will accept negative numbers array and negative numbers count and now again i will run this program and see what will be the output so here you can see our uh, total positive numbers are 7 total negative numbers are 3 positive array elements are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 uh, sorry here i need to pass array of i instead of the index so now it will print the elements from that array so you can see here total positive numbers are 7 total negative numbers are 3 positive array elements are 9 10 20 30 40 40 45 50, 50 and negative array elements are minus 18 20, minus 27 and minus 36 now you can run it and it will be showing on better way okay guys that's it from this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe thank you bye bye